let's start looking at some of the nerves, and let's look at the, uh, the region of the neck and cervical or cervical plexus, whatever you fancy. Now, if I turn my friend here around, um, these are the cervical or cervical vertebrae here, cervical vertebrae, let's say, and there are seven cervical vertebrae. If I pull down his, his collar, we can see C7. So we have one of the C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, uh, C7. And you can feel C7 on yourself. As I pull down the collar, you can pull down your own collar, and there's a big lumpy bit there. And it's that lumpy bit which is the seventh cervical cervical vertebra. Now, the interesting thing is we have seven cervical vertebra, but coming out of it, we have eight uh, cervical spinal nerves. We have one. The first one comes out on top of C1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the eighth uh, cervical uh, spinal nerve comes out from beneath, inferior to C7. And the, uh, the first four, C1, 2, 3, 4 spinal nerves come together to form the cervical plexus. And the cervical plexus then comes out through the muscles of the side of the neck um, and is going to innervate all of the, uh, the muscles and the skin, the shoulders, the neck and the back of the head. How to doodly. Um, today we're looking at the cervical plexus or cervical plexus, okay, and so what we want to go through now is some of the important nerves that are involved. Um, to link in with one of the previous podcasts, we were looking at the spi uh, spinal accessory nerve, okay, if you remember it came through the posterior triangle of the neck, you can see that one here, okay, um, that has input from the cervical plexus, I think the input is um, C2 to C4, okay, so C2, 3 and 4 are also all involved in the um, spinal accessory. Then we go down and have a look at the phrenic nerve. The phrenic nerve has input from the cervical plexus. Um, C3, 4 and 5 keeps the diaphragm alive. You can see that if I just turn here. That's the phrenic nerve coming down there. Um, the other nerve to look at is the ansa cervicalis. That's important in innovating strap muscles. Okay. Um, it's a big loop and it gives off various branches to individual muscles along the way. The roots of that are C1 to C3. Um, they are all involved um, in muscles, okay, those nerves that I've mentioned before. Um, but the cervical plexus also is involved in sensation, okay, and to the skin there are four important nerves we need to look at. Right, put this one back. Okay, so we have the lesser occipital nerve, which comes up just behind the ear, if you can see it along here. Then we have the uh, greater auricular nerve that comes just in front of the ear, that one's here, all running across this, the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Then we have the transverse cervical um, nerve, and that comes straight across, and that's going to supply all the skin around the neck, all these three here. And the fourth one that we're interested in is the supraclavicular, okay, and that comes out here. You can just see that branch across there. Okay, good. So they're the important nerves. And one other thing I want to show you on this nice model before we finish is we've done the cervical plexus, and then next we will be looking at the brachial plexus. Okay, and so you can just see that starting to form down here. Thank you for your time.